Hey there folks, it's Antar. Sorry I was gone last week. I was doing a lot of traveling. I was still actually expecting to be able to uh, uh, upload some videos, but the traveling took a lot out of me, and I'm really sorry about that. But hey, I'm back now, and that's all that matters after all. So today I'm bringing you an RU battle against many all 333 of Smogon. Uh, we met through the Smogon Wi-Fi Battle Finder, as you know. Most Smogon people I find are. Anyway, I was expecting him to lead off with Steelix, so that's why I let off with George III. Seeing that he sends out his Angry Bird, I'm thinking it's probably okay for me to send out Hatterak. Uh, he goes for the Protect Wasted turn for him, uh, and he's just gonna have to U-turn out because he's not gonna be able to do anything to me, even with the facade or even with the uh, Guts boost. So I go for the Stealth Rock, hoping I could set him up before his Charizard came out. I know he's got War Turtle in the wings, but meh, uh, you know. He's gonna, he would have to waste a turn rapid spinning, and I could have done a lot of stuff in the meantime. Anyway, it's a sunny day solar power set. He goes for the... I really wish I'd just stayed in and gone for Stone Edge, but I was fearing that he'd take me out with a Fire Blast just on the first turn. Uh, but he predicted that quite well. So now he goes with the Solar Beam. Uh, Tuesday, it's not, it's not super effective, and I survive on just a little bit of HP. Um, so now I'm going to want to switch out because I want to save my Quillfish for later. Uh, I was thinking about going for the Aqua Jet, but it wouldn't have done enough. Uh, anyway, I send out Audino, goes for the Fire Blast, and it got a crit. That crit definitely mattered. I could have taken it. I uh, know you might say, well, but the crit didn't really matter because he would have outsped on the next turn. But I have Protect, I have Regenerator. I could have regained a little bit of health. Uh, anyway, at least, you know, he's solar powered and not scarfed, so I'm able to take him out with a, a Volt Switch with my scarfed, um, uh, Tachikoma, my star scarfed Rotom, so that's okay for me. Uh, now I'm expecting a Rapid Spin, but in case he goes for the Skull, don't want to stay in. My Cleric is dead! And that means if any of my Pokémon get burned, paralyzed, or poisoned, I'm going to be in a very bad situation. Anyway, go for the trick hoping to get his uh, his Eviolite uh, War Turtle. Instead I get his um, I, I get his Bofalant. I see that it's running leftovers, so that probably means it's the sub SD set, which at least tells me a little bit about it. Uh, I know it's not a banded or scarfed set, uh, so he and it's probably not going to enjoy having that uh, choice scar being locked in rather. Um, so anyway, go for the Dragon Tail as he goes for the Toxic. That was a really great move on my end. Uh, I just was predicting that he would... Well, if, I guess he could have just gone for the Rapid Spin, but if he had, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. I was expecting him not to go for, like, a Scald or a Surf or anything. Um, so he sets up rocks. Uh, I am actually outspeeding him, which is kind of interesting, because I could have sworn I was, um, sassy, which is minus speed nature and uh, zero IVs, but eh, whatever, maybe he's doing the same, it's just a bunch of speed ties. Anyway, Angry Bird's gonna come out, gonna take a lot of damage with those entry hazards, uh, and also the fact that he's toxic, so gonna, he's gonna switch out here into his War Turtle. I'm just gonna keep going for the Dragon Tails. When you've got an opponent who's just phasing like this, it's really not the best idea to be switching a lot. Just, you know, go in, hope that they keep on doing that and not switching it out for something else. I keep going for the Dragon Tails. He was actually going for the Dragon Tail as well. Now here I'm going to be forced out because his Sceptile, it's got a lot of things that could probably do a lot to me. I see it's not running leftovers, so it's either Life Orb or a Choice Item, um, based on the fact that, so no, uh, no Life Orb here. And so I'm thinking this guy is probably specs based on the amount of damage that did to my Gargon. Anyway, he was expecting here for me to go for Sleep Powder with my Gargon. I don't. I go because I knew his Bufflant was going to be in the wing somewhere. He goes for the Mega Horn. I was thinking that would probably be his other attack. Uh, he gets a crit, and that's the only reason that damage uh, that amount of, that did any amount of damage, uh, noticeable amount of damage. I mean, look, it's really not doing anything. I'm hoping that he's going to make up for the crit with a miss. Um, I go for the Earthquake, just thinking this guy I really want dead. So. And I don't think he's going to send out Swallow. So here I go for the Dragon Tail. It misses. At this range of health, I'm thinking just in case he switches out, don't want to be caught with my pants down. Um, and indeed, he does switch here. Uh, Badass takes a little bit of damage. And now Angry Bird's going to take more damage. His Swallow is now down below 50% health. And with that poison, it's just going to keep racking it up. Uh, he goes for the Facade, decides to stay in, at least do a little bit of damage. I go for the Dragon Tail, and now he is down to below 25% health, so that Swallow is officially Death Fodder unless his War Turtle can come out and do some Rapid Spinning. Um, Hatterak, oh, so anyway, Badass is now out, gonna want to switch out. He goes for the Focus Blast, glad it missed, I'm pretty sure it could have taken out my Rotom considering I don't have any HP or defense investment, or rather special defense investment in my Rotom, I'll put the counts in the description. Anyway, know that he, knowing that he's locked into Focus Blast, I feel safe sending out George the Third, 
Um, and I'm just gonna go for the T-Wave, thinking that except, unless he sends out Steelix, any of his Pokémon are not gonna be liked, like, being paralyzed. Anyway, he just sent out his Swellow as Death Fodder, and now he gets the free switch into someone else, and it's going to be this guy gonna want to switch out, expecting the Giga Drain, and I don't care that I'm especially defensive wall, I don't think I can take a Specs Giga Drain. Uh, so his badass is now back to above half, he goes for another Giga Drain, uh, I'm now down to very low HP, and I'm thinking this guy outspeeds my entire team, I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with it, and I go for the Hidden Power Fire, it gets a crit, I'm sure that crit mattered, but you know, it balances out in the end, I guess, and you know, he, I guess like, Hatterack maybe could have, well, Hatterack couldn't have taken any amount of damage at that range of health. So anyway, he goes for the Head Smash, I was just thinking that maybe he'd take himself out with Recoil, instead he's going to take himself out on the next turn with Recoil as he takes me out as well. So double down situation, we both lose a Pokemon, so yeah, wow, um, for the fact that like, for four minutes, nothing happened in this battle, now things are really speeding up. I send out Gargon, thinking, well, I mean, based on his two Pokemon that are left, Gargon's a pretty good Pokemon to have out. I go for the Giga Drain, he really should go for the Dragon Tail, and indeed he does. Out now is going to come uh, Quillfish, it's just going to die to entry hazards, and that allows me to get a free switch in. So, I could send out my uh, Rotom, go for the Leaf Storm, but not really necessary. I get a crit here, all this did was shorten the battle, uh, it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Jr. comes out, I go for the Giga Drain, he's Eviolite, uh, so he actually survives. Goes for the Toxic and misses. A little bit of hacks there, but at that point, what was going to happen? I guess he could have had rest, but... Oh well, whatever. Anyway, that's the end of the battle. Great game, many all. Hope you folks enjoyed this battle. Hope you folks are glad that I'm back. I will be uploading more battles later in the week. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.